A Victorian inventor is literally turning on the light for hundreds of thousands of refugees abroad. Shane Thatcher saw the urgent need to introduce solar-powered lights to disadvantaged settlements. And now his bright idea has gone global. Margaret Decker has this report. Shane Thatcher saw the burden toxic kerosene lamps were placing on the developing world. As soon as we became aware of it, I knew that it must be a simple solution. And so the Mandarin light was created with basic parts. There's a solar panel on the back, and so if you put that in the sun for eight hours, it charges three nickel metal hydride batteries which are inside. Hundreds of thousands of households across East and West Africa, Indonesia, the Philippines, Papua New Guinea and most recently flood ravaged Pakistan have dramatically benefited, improving children's study lighting, women's safety, fuel costs and community health. I'd have old men coming up to me and saying I've had this cough for 10 years and I didn't know what it was and now it's gone and it's actually just through inhaling kerosene for that long. A traditional candle has only a short, non-renewable life, but a mandarin light can shine for up to eight hours a night, and its battery can be charged by the sun for more than three years. And its solar price tag stays down with help from carbon credits. I think they're trading at around eight euro per tonne, uh, and one of our lights makes a third of a tonne of carbon credits over its life. Still reserving some for a special customer back home. My mother has them in her caravan. <laughs> <laughs> Margaret Decker, 7 News.